Hi guys, it's Jay again from Ayaba's Wind. I am back to do your New Year's forecast for 2021. I hope all is well. Um, as I said um, in previous videos, um, and actually the last video of the um, of 2020, I told you I was going to be doing the forecast for the next um, six months in the new year. And so here it is. So you may want to get something to write with because it will be a lot of information. OK. Um, also, too, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition. So I'll be interpreting the cards from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective at times. OK. And um, just keep in mind, it's a general reading. So some of it may impact you all of it may impact you or none of it may impact you okay and some of the things may have happened um, in the recent past they could be happening now or they could happen in the future all right and also you know these things may apply to you and maybe close people around you all right if you like what i'm doing please like the video definitely share and certainly subscribe i really appreciate it and um, if you want to get a reading by me, um, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. So in giving you these messages from spirit, um, you know, um, prayer and meditation went into this. The messages are going to come up through um, sayings um, or quotes, and then we'll explore um, the messages that spirit has to say. Spirit is talking about your head, okay? Your head is going to be critical and so important. Wow, you see that? The light just flickered, all right? Your head is going to be critical um, for these next couple of months, okay? Spirit is saying your head carries your feet. And if your head is jacked up, everything's gonna be jacked up. You gotta take care of your head. You gotta watch where you lay your head. You gotta watch who you let touch your head. That includes you going to get your hair done, people all digging in your head. If they're rough and they're manhandling you, no, they cannot do that, okay? Your head is sacred, okay? You can put coconut water on your head to cool you. You can put rub cocoa butter on the top of your head, wear lots of white, white hats, cute white hats, white scarves. Keep your head wrapped in white, okay? Do white baths, which I'll put in the description, okay? Just bathe and, um, bathe and indulge in white. Sleep in white. Dress in white, okay? Revamp your whole wardrobe. White is hot right now. White's hot in the winter, white, white's hot in the summer. It's hot all year round, okay? Um, and so, yeah, you definitely got to do some Lisa Ray white out, all right? Um, so Spirit is talking about you don't get enough credit. You know, you don't get enough credit for who you are and what you do. And Spirit is just saying, like, look, it's a thankless job, okay? But continue to um, invest in you and be the good person that you are. Spirit is saying, um, you know, wear lots of white. You know, if you can go to church or go to places of worship on occasion, that would benefit you too. Okay. Because, you know, it, you would benefit um, being around, you know, um, spiritual places. All right. Um, Spirit's talking about, you know, because your head is so sacred, um, it is important at this time to not allow rain to get on, to touch your head. Okay. And, you know, I'm saying this because rain is phenomena. Rain, rain comes, pours from the heavens, okay, from high up, okay? It is charged. There's charged particles. You know, it's, it's, um, it's cleaning the atmosphere, and there's a lot of spiritual energies about, okay? And so, you know, if this rain touches your head, it can cause chaos. It can cause confusion. It can cause, um, you know, you feeling scattered. So what Spirit is saying at this time, don't let water touch your head. Get that umbrella, put that hoodie on, do something, okay? Um, because, you know, you're trying to stay focused um, and, uh, you know, uh, clear and having that clarity. You know, be careful of visiting sick people, okay? Um, you know, people are sick, yes, and, you know, env environments, you know, in hospitals, you know, it can be chaotic, okay? And sometimes people are sick. Yeah, most people are sick, you know, due to physical means, but some people have gotten sick because people have thrown stuff 
stuff on them, okay? And so, you know, spirit is saying, protect your head. If you must go visit someone sick, wrap your head in white, put a white hat on, okay? This is gonna be your armor, okay? To protect you from negative energies, all right? Spirit is talking about, you know, watch going down into basements, uh, watch winding stairs and things of that nature. You know, basements have a whole nother set of energy, okay? Um, and so, you know, spirit wants you to protect your head, keep your head protected, all right? Spirit's talking about don't reveal your dreams, you know, um, don't reveal your dreams. People can take that information, use it against you. You know, they can capitalize off of it. So just keep your dreams to yourself. You can keep a dream journal if you want. Um, Spirit's talking about do not cover what, uh, don't cover what other people's have, what other people have, okay? You know, you could be looking on Instagram. They're going on all these vacations to Morocco, to Maldives, to Phuket, to God knows, um, Playa del Carmen, like wherever the hell they go. It looks all very nice, but behind the door, behind the scenes, they, they could be getting their asses beaten, okay? It could be a nightmare. You don't know what they do to stay in that relationship, all right? And Spirit is saying, it's not good for you to covet what other people are doing. Invest in yourself, work on yourself, okay? And build yourself up at this time, okay? Spirit's talking about, you know, as far as your house, your environment is concerned, get rid of all empty bottles, get rid of all empty boxes, any vases that are not filled with anything, you either store them away and, and flip them over so the mouth is closed, or you put some stones in, some water, some flowers, fill up the vases with something, okay? And containers with something. Because in many spiritual traditions, there are spirits that live and occupy bottles and boxes and things of that. So you don't need to be pulling and attracting anything other than what you got right now, all right? And spirit is talking about you know, at this time, be care very, be very careful of needles. Be careful of getting tattoos. Be careful of getting shots because these needles can introduce infection. These needles can make you very sick. Now, if you need to get a needle to save your life, then by all means, do what you got to do. <laughs> but spirit is saying at this time, you got to be very, very careful with needles. All right. Because needles can introduce infection. You know, if they're not properly handled. There's all kinds of things going on. All right. Um, spirit is saying, you know, if you see spirits withhold eating certain foods. Okay. Do not eat peanuts. Don't eat sweet potatoes. Just get them out of your diet, okay, if you see spirits, all right? Um, also, you know, you have to be very careful with pride and arrogance because this can um, breed envy. It can breed resentment in other people, okay? And so that will contribute to people throwing more daggers and putting more knives in your back. And talking more trash about you and defaming you. So spirit is saying, you know, be humble, <laughs> be humble, okay? Um, spirit is, is talking about your neck. With your neck, spirit does not want you wearing like scarves knotted up around your neck, like you choked up, ascots and all kinds of stuff. No, that's, uh -uh. anything that is is going to compromise your head to the rest of your body, spirit is like, no, no. That's not a good look right now, okay? But some of you, you know, a spirit is saying that perfection can be death. So a spirit is saying, you know, it's impossible to be perfect. You may feel like you look perfect or someone may, could feel like you, you're, you're perfect, but there's always gonna be something else. You know, you may have a great body, but then you have a chipped tooth. So you fix the chipped tooth. And then, oh, maybe your ear is too pointy. Like, Spirit is saying, like, don't even focus on all that, okay? Spirit's talking about, for some of you, there are some of you that are watching this that, that believe that a parent never liked you, okay? That there was a parent that never liked you, that you were a burden, that... 
you know, that they just, that they may, may have regretted having you, you know, there's this feeling of, for some of you, feeling discarded, okay? This is what Spirit's talking about. Uh, Spirit is talking about um, there could be problems with your legs, um, so definitely get that checked out. Um, and also, too, you know, the whole being humble thing, again, someone's head is a little big. I'm not passing judgment, but someone's got a big head. They got a big ego in the words of Beyonce, okay? And Spirit is like, you know, try and take it down a couple of notches, <laughs> okay? So you can walk out of the place standing, all right? Um, because there's certain people that can't handle that. They don't understand it. All right, so Spirit is saying, just kind of tone it down a, a bit. Um, and yet again, you know, Spirit's talking about be careful of things that separate your head from your 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 body, okay? Like this whole neck region, Spirit does not want things all tightened up and bound up on your neck, all right? Um, and Spirit's talking about respect your elders. There's going to be elders, older people that are going to give you wisdom, and just heed the advice, okay? Um, and, and Spirit's talking about balance your private life with your pu with your public life, okay? Because Spirit's talking about there's an imbalance, okay? And, and so you don't need your home life to be falling apart, but your fame is out in the street and everyone loves you. And then when you come home to your, your, um, your place of, of um, peace of mind, it's not peaceful. Because all shit has hit the fan, all right? Um, and Spirit is saying, for some of you, you may have problems with dealing with the feelings of others. And Spirit is aware of that. And you know how to direct your prayers. You know, just pray that you will have more sensitivity um, and more understanding to people and what they're going through, okay? And, um, you know, just be very careful, all right? Um, Spirit is talking about um, be careful talking your business, okay? On phones, in your in your house, th there are neighbors that are listening, people are listening. Be be careful of, of talking your plans, okay? Because there's people that don't wish you well, okay? Um, you may want to take that trip to Miami or South Beach or or whatever. This is, spirit is saying, don't post it on Instagram. You could take pictures while you're down there. Don't post those pictures until you get back because people don't wish you well. People are actually cursing your name and they're, they're wishing you ill. Okay. So, you know, people are definitely cursing you. And so, you know, as a result of too much talking, it can cause you to lose your wealth and your luck. All right. And so spirit is just warning you of this. Okay. Um, and Spirit's talking about revolution can bring tra tragedy or tragedy can bring revolution. So there is change coming. Change is going to be imminent, okay? And change may come, may be brought about by some tragedy or something that happens, all right? And so, you know, definitely um, prepare your mind, your body, and spirit, you know, uh, you know, just going into prayer, being prayerful, you know, being faithful, um, and uh, raising your vibration because th there's something that's going to be happening, all right? Um, you know, Spirit's talking about oil and water don't mix. So there's two people that just don't get along. This is what Spirit is saying, all right? And um, Spirit is talking about during this time, you know, there's an energy of friend kills friend. So, you know, a friend today, enemy tomorrow. So there could be a friendship that could be falling apart um, in the next several months, okay? Something that you would have least expected. Um, watch for, you know, feeling like you're losing your head, feeling like you're losing your mind. You know, this is not a normal thing for you. You know, you definitely got to do some white baths. You know, keep your head wrapped in white. Put that cocoa butter on your head, that coconut water, all right? You know, um, say your prayers, your mantras, your meditations to get your mind right, okay? Keep your head cool and keep your head free of drugs and alcohol, all right? Um, the Spirit's talking about, like, you you may have a, a difficult time in dealing with people who are just like you. This is what Spirit is saying, Um 
for some of the women who are watching, spirit is saying that, you know, you may tend to be a little bit, you may have a, uh, maybe a little masculine and or aggressive edge to you. And this could cause challenges for you in dealing with certain people because they don't quite know how to take you, okay? But a lot of work is gonna be needed on your relationships in these next several months. So, you know, both of you are gonna have to invest, okay? It's not gonna be a one-sided deal. Um, and, you know, Spirit is saying like, you know, you will have difficulty with being someone all, being with someone all the time, okay? It will get on your nerves. You need time to go and create and that person needs to go and take time to do what they need to do, okay? I'm not saying be like, you know, um, unfaithful and all that, but you guys need your own space to be able to grow, all right? And Spirit is talking about someone has a razor sharp tongue. Remember, with this tongue, you can create, but also with this tongue, you can destroy, okay? And it is better to be creating and be creative and manifesting, okay? This is a very powerful tool, all right? So talk about the things you want. Talk about the things you're doing or you're going to do or you will do, all right? Or I am doing. All right, and, and put your energy in that. Because with this, Spirit is saying nobody knows the wealth he has until it's gone, until he loses it. So that goes for, for relationships too, <laughs> okay? You could have someone that is amazing in every way, but you see something over there that's nice and glittery and sparkly and shiny, brand spanking new, <laughs> okay? And you go over there, and then in the meantime, the person that you had that was solid gold, gold, you lose it, all right? And someone else the tre recognizes the treasure in that person. And then, unfortunately, you're going to see them walk down the aisle and have their happy ending, all right? And so Spirit is saying, you know, be careful of um, self-sabotaging, um, you know, making too many excuses, um, and things of that nature. Spirit is wanting you to, you know, be mindful of this, okay? Um, don't tell your secrets. It's no longer a secret if you tell your secret, okay? Because friend today, enemy tomorrow, all right? Um, and no more, I can't. No more, I can't. I will, I want, I will do, I am doing, okay? Um, Spirit's talking about, you know, for some of you, it is advised to change your job or go back to school, okay? Because there are some of you that have, um, you know, are unhappy with the situation, okay? And as opposed to sitting in it and ruminating in it, the spirit wants you to make the change. And maybe this change is the revolution that's coming, okay? Um, and spirit's talking about being betrayed by a friend, okay? It's something about a betrayal, that if it hasn't come, this betrayal may be coming, okay? Um, it's talking about theft um, and watch watch someone who asks you for favors, okay? Because this person who will ask you for favors will be ungrateful and wish ill on you. It's like almost like they'll give you their ass to kiss, okay? And so be very careful of do, doing favors. If your spirit is like, no, then don't do it. They'll, they'll find someone else to do it for them, okay? Um, <clears throat> and spirit is also saying, be careful of who you have over your house because spirit is saying that you could have people over your house and they can steal from you, even if it's the slightest little thing, okay? Spirit is saying that people could steal from you, all right? So be very watchful. And, and you know, spirit wants you to... Um, Check your kidneys, get your kidneys checked, your nerves checked, you know, um, your blood checked for anything that's not right or for sickness, okay? Because um, something could be brewing, all right? And spirit is trying to um, prevent things from possibly getting bigger if there is anything. So definitely go to the doctor and get your checkup and check for all these things, okay? And for those people who are pregnant or may get pregnant, um, spirit is saying that, you know, this pregnancy may require a C-section, okay? So direct your prayers at having a healthy delivery 
that you know that um, spirit blesses the surgeon's hands to make the right cuts to do the right thing to deliver this ba baby um, safe healthy and strong okay guys so this has been your new year's forecast for the next several months um, and if you find that anything has applied to you um, in any way you can relate to it or you have concerns, you want to get a private reading, you can definitely email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, uh, 999 at gmail.com. And guys, I'm not done with you yet either, okay? Um, in the next day or so, I'm going to be doing the love tarot pop-up for the sign of cancer for january 2021 so let's see what is in store for you for the new year all right so have a great evening ciao